Here I'm looking at some data from the car data set again, and I'm going to show you how to draw a scatter graph of this data to check whether there's a correlation between parts of it. Now, I've uh, removed most of the data and just kept the engine capacity and the fuel type and this cryptic metric combined thing, because actually I want to check whether there is a, uh, a link between diesel cars and their engine size and how much fuel they use. So this uh, column is measuring the in, in metric units how many litres these cars use per 100 kilometres under some test conditions. And the combined bit just means that they were combining the urban tests with the extra urban tests. Let's do this quickly though. Um, the engine capacity is measured in cubic centimetres, just in case you're interested. That's a pretty standard measure of engine size. And I want to grab that data as well as this column. So I'm going to hold down control and click that column as well. I don't need the middle column. That was just what I grabbed to check. They were all diesel. Once I've grabbed the data, go to the insert tab and find the scatter graph button over here. If I hover over it, it tells you what it is. Click on that and the first option is a good starting place and this is dead easy. Click on it and you get a scatter graph. Now there's a few things to sort out. Uh, I don't really want this title here so I'm just going to actually get rid of that. It grabbed it from the, uh, the second column. I'm not sure why it did that. Later on you could add some labels. It's got the engine capacity at the bottom on the x-axis and the metric combined fuel usage on the y-axis. But the main problem is these uh, slightly blurry blobs here. The blobs are very large and that's blurring stuff together and they're turning up in vertical lines which is not a problem actually it's just indicating that engine sizes tend to come in standard sizes so you can see there's multiple copies of each one and that's reflected in this sort of there's a whole bunch of data just under 2000 that would be the sort of the two liter engines uh, let's deal with the fact that the uh, they're hard to see so we could make this graph a little bigger um, just uh, grab the graph and drag it up to the top and maybe resize it and you can actually get a bit more of a a view and that spreads out the data a little bit but maybe if the points were smaller as well that would help so clicking on a point and then right clicking to click on format data series gives you some options on how to change the look of them and I'm going to do that quickly by clicking on fill and line here click on the markers and the marker options here at the moment it's on automatic I'm going to click on the built-in options and choose which built-in marker and I'd like the one that has the smallest presence possible these crosses look better they're still too big though, so I can make them really small, uh, and that it gives you a, a way of seeing where the data is uh, a little bit more easily. And if you wanted to change the colour, you can do that in the, the border option here. Uh, so that would make this all black. But to be honest, you already have the scatter graph, and it's already backing up our guess that the engine capacity seems to be linked to the fuel usage. There's a faint positive correlation going on here, and we'll look at how to measure that and draw some lines on it in another video.